Hello, uh, quick review of this, the new Nest Hub. This is the second generation seven inch. So it's not the uh, one with the camera, it's a smaller one, which is more suited to uh, really be a, a fancy photo frame slash uh, alarm clock. Help in any room. It's got your Google Assistant stuff down the side there and all the compatible services. Netflix is some, one that they've added quite recently and that makes it far more uh, desirable than it used to be, I think. YouTube, Netflix, stream your, uh, oh, Disney Plus as well. Control Philips Hue on there, so it's got all your standard home control and streaming services. Let's see if I can get in the box. So here it is. Dimension-wise, dimension-wise, it looks basically the same as the other one, the one that came before it. Obviously, the main difference is this one has Solly, and it uses Solly for sleep detection. We'll get to that shortly. So there it is. So it's got a switch here that mutes the microphone. Power. Not USB, it's using a barrel port, which is, it uh, doesn't really matter, but I suppose, does it? A couple of switches here, I'm guessing that'll be volume up and down. And that is it. So up here is probably, that must be the Solly sensor. Two dots here, which must be microphones. The old one has two microphones, this has three, uh, which is supposed to improve uh, sound detection over greater distances. Don't know where the third one is, maybe on the back, on the side. Nope, no idea. Well, it must be around there somewhere. All right. What else have we got in here? Let's get started. Oh, that didn't attach very well. Connect the power adapter to the Google Nest Hub, plug it in, get the Google Home app. Tap plus to add your Nest Hub, so fairly straightforward. Something about privacy, how to turn off the microphone and then your warranty. So with this, you need to use the Google Home app to add it. You can probably, yeah, I wonder, because they're phasing out the Nest app. I just installed a Nest thermostat E and I couldn't add that using the Google Home app. I needed to use the Nest app, so it's a bit confusing why they have two still. I really need to sort that out. Charger, so there's the barrel port, <coughs> excuse me, and the standard Google plug that you see on most things these days. That is it. Not much in it at all, but I suppose what, what is it? it doesn't need to be anything in there, does it? Right, let's look at plugging it in and uh, setting it up. All right, as you can see, I've had to move quite a bit because the uh, the power cable. Familiar startup sound. The power cable is only about two meters long, so I've had to move. Two meters is probably long enough. Hi. Keep that in mind. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. I've already got that, so what I need to do is I just need to open my phone and hopefully it will detect it. Let's have a look. Set up two devices, so it's definitely found a device. Looking for devices. Nearby devices, Nest Hub. I don't know why it's found a Chromecast here, because that's already set up. Anyway, never mind. Nest Hub. Scan the QR code. QR code scanned, apparently. Didn't look like it, but... Connecting. Connected. Help improve Nest Hub. No thanks. Where is it? Well, it'll be in the bedroom. Connect to Wi-Fi, remember it for future devices. Yes, that's handy. Unistub can recognize gestures, so this is Solly. 
a great plan for Solid, but all you really do is wave in front of it and it sees your hand. Uh, useful for turning off alarms or skipping tracks, that's probably about it. I'm not even skipping tracks, it says here, just playing and pausing. They were talking about doing gestures like that with your forefinger and thumb to twist, as if you're twisting a dial to change the volume, but nothing like that has materialised. Personalised suggestion from Google Fit? Yeah. So really, um, that's just, this device seems really tailored towards sleep, so to have that anywhere else by the bedroom, it seems, seems like you're missing out on most of the features. Sleep schedule, bedtime, 11, wake up time, 7. Oh, perfect. Standing in no, no thanks. Almost finished. Oh, where's it gone? Finished. Right, finished setup. By adopting better sleep habits, we can make each night's sleep more restful and refreshing to improve our overall wellness and turn feel our bed. best every day. Here's how Google Nest Hub with sleep sensing can help. Let's say that you, like so many of us, are having Speaker's not bad, sleep still night. not great. Better than the previous one though. Easily, it's important to take the time to wind down and clear your mind before bed. Nest Hub can support your bedtime routine by helping you create a calming environment before you drift off to sleep. Set an alarm, dim the lights and play relaxing sounds all by tapping the screen or using your voice. Sleep can be a bit of a mystery. After a restless night in bed, you can't always tell why it was that you tossed and turned in the night. Sleep sensing on Nest Hub can give you a closer look by analysing how you're resting and identifying areas that you may want to improve on. And just as it helps you wind down for the night, Nest Hub can gently wake you up in the morning with a sunrise alarm that gradually rouses you out of sleep with warm light and a curated set of peaceful sounds. Maybe you're not quite feeling the urge to hop out of bed. So a long intro, didn't get this on a previous one. Or wave a hand. Once you're up, Nest Hub will greet you with a sleep summary that focuses on the schedule and duration of your rest, which are essential for a good night's sleep. This summary can help you understand more about your sleep and detect sleep disturbances like coughing and snoring as well as elements in your environment, like temperature and lighting. As time goes by, your Nest Hub will continue to learn about how you rest and prepare personalised insights and tips that help you develop better sleeping habits. And as soon as you're ready to take on the day, you can have a quick look at what's ahead with traffic, weather and news. Begin your journey to better rest with Google Nest Hub and sleep sensing at your bedside. Right, I've moved it to the bedroom. Um, so this is where I'll live. I haven't set up the sleep sensing yet, but here it is ready to go in general. So photo frame is what it defaults to, like a screensaver, shows the weather and the time in the bottom left. You can have anything to show here. Uh, you can link it to Google Photos, so you can show your own photos, which is what I will probably do. You can just swipe through these. Swipe up from the very bottom and this menu pops up. So you can adjust the light here. You can even set it manually or just turn on the auto backlight, the auto brightness, which will function similar to like it does on the phone. Uh, you've got your volume controls, but you can use your finger for that here. Or you've got a rocker switch on the back. Do not disturb mode, alarm, and set an alarm here. Have to remember to turn that off. Send feedback, I assume this is. Sure, what needs to be improved? Oops, cancel. Okay. Hmm. Settings, so device info here. Swipe from that edge to go back. Light theme, light theme or dark theme. Or auto, so it'll put it in dark at night, I assume. It's not the fastest, I've noticed. When you're navigating the menus, it is a bit slow. 
hopefully they can speed up a bit of the firmware update. Photo frame, so this is where you choose what's in the background. It wants you to me to use my voice so it knows it's me that's doing it. Motion sense, this is this here. Is it the Solly motion sense, so you can swipe it to disable alarms and things like that. Quick gestures. Snoozing, yeah, snoozing alarms or playing and pausing music. Sleep sensing. I uh, can't really set this up now because I've got the camera in front of it. Let's run through the calibration anyway. Teach your display where you sleep. Find a spot that's level the mattress. Yeah, this is. Place the device on the side of your bed. About one to two feet away, yep. Yeah. Angle the display towards you. A little bit invasive, but not too bad. No camera, obviously. Make sure nothing blocks the display. That shouldn't be too bad. Lie still on top of the sheets where you usually sleep and then start. I'm not going to start now because obviously it's, I'm not actually ready. So touch the screen and this pops up. This is the main, all the main menu stuff. So your evening. So it's wanting me to calibrate there. You've got the bedroom light here, so I can turn it on and off with the home controls. I've got the main light on so you won't actually notice that. These are Philips Hue, it's a Philips Hue lamp, so that's why that's showing up. Uh, thermostat, so this is the thermostat downstairs, which is the Nest E thermostat. Be adjusted from here. Calendar in the bottom right, weather. Anything happen when you tap that? Nothing. Alarms, quick way to get to your alarms there. What else is in there? Play relaxing sounds, if you want to do that before bed. Sleep data would appear here. Obviously I've only just got this, there are none there. And there's people I can call here. Wellness. So yeah, here's all the, here's where all the sleep data would appear. Obviously nothing there yet. Home control. So I can control my lights. Turn them all off. Turn them all on. Handy. Quick way of doing it. Climate. Yeah, this is just back to your thermostat. Speakers and TVs. So I can play music to any device. Rooms. So it's a quick way of seeing what's in each room and controlling it from here. Play music. Shame you can't broadcast. Broadcast a message, I mean. Right, uh, what's this? A routine. So you do, a, if you have any routine set up, we don't use them, you can use these. Media. YouTube, YouTube music. News. Uh, how quick is it to open a YouTube channel? Uh, see, that's about three seconds after I tapped it, so it's a bit slow. The mixer tap. Brilliant invention, and yet something that seems to have passed Britain by. You'll get Americans coming well, over screen, here. I don't know if you can tell, but the screen's kind of bit... And even here, in, uh, in my parents... Oh, how do I stop it? Weekend, oh, it's horribly slow. So. Oh, horribly slow, that is. Um, that I'll, do be, uh, that I'll be using this for me, uh, YouTube very often. It was so unresponsive, pressing the pause button, or the well, pause button wouldn't even show up, but when I pressed it, it would pause three seconds later. Hopefully they fix that. Communicate, so this is where I can broadcast a message to another room, make a Google Duo call. Back. Oops, gone too far back. God, it's very slow. So where was I? Discover. You might interpret us, so you can do um, yeah, so Google Translate, shopping list. And then it's, this is all the Google Assistant stuff, so it's just prompting you to talk to it. That's about it, really. Uh, so it's a Nest Hub. It's a second generation. It's ninety pounds, same dimensions as the original one, seven inch. Um, primarily, it's a, a digital photo frame. Uh, and home control. So if you have lights, various and thermostats, various things you want to control quicker than using your voice, then it's quite handy in that sense. Speakers definitely improved since the last one. I can tell that just from hearing what I've heard so far. Um, but if you've got an original, I don't really see the point in getting this unless you're very keen on the sleep tracking. 
if you um if you want something to attract your sleep and you don't want to have something on your wrist or whatever then this seems like a good way of doing it assuming it works well i mean i haven't tried it but i don't see why it wouldn't uh what other improvements is that it has three microphones instead of two so hopefully it picks up your voice a bit easier it apparently has a faster cpu um but this does yeah, well it's not fast it's not completely sluggish but it's not fast hopefully some of the um weird issues i was having the slowness is just because it's in need of a little firmware update to sort it out or something but hmm, it's, it's not as fast as it should be so i'm pressing here although there's no sleep data there so i'm not expecting to see anything but i press it about two seconds later this pops up that's too slow um also apparently has on device machine learning it has a chip that's built into the device that, that doesn't go over the internet and that's supposed to speed up this uh, Google Assistant. So it'll learn whichever commands you use often. And instead of having to process them in the cloud, it'll do it on the device, which should save some of the delay you get when you're talking to Google, but we'll see, we'll see. And that is about it. If you have any questions about it, does nothing really happen when you tap the, uh, the weather? Nothing happens, surely it should do something. Never mind. If you have any questions, let me know. See, I definitely tap that and nothing's playing. Oh my goodness, see that? What was that, 10 seconds? Ten seconds, too long.